Hiya five, welcome to today's topic lesson. Um, we're doing geography again. So last week we looked at the Maya water systems and this week we are going to be learning about the Mayan farming techniques. Uh, before we start, let's start with our total recall. So, um, I've chosen things from different year groups. This one was from year two slash three. Can you remember the UK capital cities? From year four, can you remember the four layers of the rainforest? And from last week, what were the natural wells where Maya collected water called? And what were the man-made wells called? Can you remember? Okay, I want you to shout out the answers to your screen if you know them. So, capital city of England, London. Capital city of Wales, Cardiff. Capital city of Scotland, Edinburgh. Capital city of Northern Ireland, Belfast. So well done if you got any or all of those. Right, the four layers of the rainforest. Let's begin from the bottom. So right at the bottom we have the forest floor. Just above that we have the understory layer. Above that we've got the canopy layer. And then right at the top for those tall trees we've got the emergent layer. So well done if you remembered those. Who can remember the two water systems from last week? So, the natural um, water well, if you like, was called a cenote. And then the man-made ones, when they didn't have any natural wells, were called choltons. And they were like the bottle shapes under the, under the ground. So well done if you've remembered those. Right, today you're going to be creating another kind of fact file slash information page. Bronze, you're just you're going to do it with some support from someone at home if you need it to explain why farming was difficult and draw and describe the farming techniques used by the Maya. Silver is exactly the same, just independently. So hopefully most of you will be achieving at least silver today. And then gold is to complete silver, but then just for the for the different farming techniques, just add a few bit bits of extra information that I talk about through the slides. So today, that means because it's brand new learning, you need to make sure that you're listening really well. And obviously to listen really well, you have to be really absorbed, looking and um, watching the screen as much as you can. Okay, let's begin. So some of the key vocabulary we will see today. Farming, crops, raised, terraced, fertile, mountainous, marshland, swamp and rainforest. I will explain these if you don't know what they are as we go through. But I want you to start thinking of this higher order question first. What is farming? How would you describe farming to someone? So farming is obviously the growing of crops, okay, plants, food, things like that. But also, it can be the rearing of animals as well. So, um, raising animals, um, allowing them to grow, and then possibly slaughtering and um, using them as food. And other words that we use for farming, or you might see, which mean the same thing, so synonyms, are agriculture and cultivation. So you may see those words as we go through today. Why was farming so important to the Maya then? Farming was important to the Maya because they had to grow and harvest their own food. They became very successful and skillful in agriculture because they were great mathematicians and astronomers who studied the stars and the weather. Now you may be thinking, maths and astronomy have nothing to do with farming. But actually, by them being able to study the stars and the weather well, this meant they were able to create very detailed calendars which told them what time of year to plant crops and when they should harvest them. So they were, they were very well known for their calendars, okay, and they created systems in their cities that were, they were able to tell where, wherever the sun was in the sky or where, however the shadow formed, um, they could tell what time of year it was and that would also help them tell um, be able to tell when the best time to plant crops was, maybe the best time to plant specific crops and, and the best time to harvest them and be able to use them for food. The Maya are very well known for their complex calendar systems which is believed to be more accurate than today's system. 
what did the Maya farm? So despite having small fields, the Maya grew many types of crops to eat at the same time. Their most common crop was maize. Can you remember what maize is? We've gone, we've covered this a couple times in the history, I think. So maize is corn. If you look over here, sweet corn. Um, and one of their deities, so that one of their gods, was the young maize god. So the maize was really, really special and important to the Maya. But they grew other foods as well, such as beans, squash, and chilies. They ate many fruits, such as guava, papaya, avocado, and apples. From all these different types of crops, they were able to make a variety of foods and meals. They also hunted many animals, for example, deer, turkeys, and monkeys, to name a few. And they caught fish using nets and lines. So quite similar to today's farming, really. Okay, um, hunting animals. Maybe they um, reared animals as well, and grew a lot of different foods. Right, we're going to watch a quick clip um, about mine farming, just so we can get a bit more information on it. Us Maya have really healthy diets. As well as the maize, beans and squash we grow to eat, we also produce cotton to make cloth and flowers for decoration. We hunt deer, fish and birds and collect fruits from the forest. But we make sure we don't take too much as we don't want to upset the spirit guardians of each species. Maize is our most important food. Long ago, the gods made our bodies out of it. We are really good at farming because our calendars are so good. They tell us when to plant our crops and when to harvest them, when it will rain and when it will be dry. Time to take our maize to the market. They sell and trade lots of things here. Juicy tomatoes. Spicy chilies. Chocolate drinks. Mm. <laughs> Noisy turkeys! <laughs> okay, so a couple links you can make to there from some of our other lessons. So obviously the maze we talked about is really important to them, the maze god. And from their creation story that we did in reading skills, they believe that they were created from maize, uh, men made out of maize. And then also the, the hot chocolate there. So Mr. Walker set you um, a challenge after your scavenger hunt to try and make Maya hot chocolate. And they um, they create them um, their hot chocolate with some of those chilies that they farm as well. So lots of links can be made with these farming techniques. So why was farming difficult for the Maya then? So the Maya had an ever-growing population. Okay, It was getting bigger and bigger all of the time. They had a variety of landscapes, so they had um, mountainous areas, obviously you know this already from our geography lesson a couple of weeks ago. They had those lowland areas with that porous limestone ground, and then they also had the marshy rainforest areas in the middle. They have a tropical climate where day daylight didn't see didn't vary much between summer and winter. So whereas we have very long days in the summer and really short days in the winter, well, because they are near the equator, their, their length of days in the summer and winter don't vary. And they have a, obviously that really tropical hot climate. But their winters were very dry and their summers were very rainy because they, it would have been more humid in the summer, especially in those rainforest areas. This would mean that their land was either too wet or too dry, depending what time of year it was. It wouldn't mean that the land was very fertile, so that means it wouldn't be able to grow crops very well. It wouldn't have enough or the correct nutrients available. There maybe wasn't any clear space. Again, maybe in those rainforest and marshy areas, there was no p space to grow the co crops and farm. And... Obviously, with the mountainous areas, it wouldn't have been flat land for them. So they came up with different ways to get around these issues. 
and the f one of, there's four different ways that we're going to look at. The first agricultural method they used was raised fields. This is where they dug out channels and created flat areas of land. And this would have been in the marshy areas where it was there was a lot of water on the ground. Okay, so the problems here would have been that the land was too wet and it wasn't very fertile. But the Maya created raised fields and used this method to farm areas of land that otherwise would have been too wet to use. Small canals were created by digging out soil from beneath the water and piling it up to create small islands, as you can see in these pictures over here. Maya farmers could then grow crops on these islands while they harvested the fish that swam in the canals. This also meant that they had more control over the water. The crops had enough water to thrive, and salt and minerals deposited by the canal could be used to put on the land to make it more fertile. So this was really, really handy for those that lived in those marshy areas. Obviously the soil is still under the marsh, so they just dig that up, create big kind of island piles, which they would be able to grow their crops on. The crops were still receiving the water from the marsh underneath. But there was also fish in that in those um, canals around the islands that they could um, that they could catch and use as food as well. So it was the perfect scenario or situation for those marshland areas. The second agricultural method that the Maya um, introduced or came up with was terracing. Um, and this was the building walls into hill, hills sorry, to create flat areas of land to farm. And this would obviously, as you can see, be in those mountainous areas, those high land areas of Mesoamerica. And the problem was, obviously, there was no flat land. And that you need the flat land to be able to plant your crops and help them grow successfully. So terrace farming. This is where walls are built to make small flat fields one on top of the other. It was useful for increasing the amount of farmland in mountain areas. Most terraces were small, but in some parts the Maya lowlands of the Maya lowlands they dramatically transformed entire regions. So you can see in these pictures the mountains they've created walls, okay, to then create flat areas where they would then plant their crops along and help them to grow in those difficult hilly areas. A third agricultural method was called the slash and burn and this is where they cleared fields and created fertilizer from the soil. So this would have been in areas where there was no clear space to grow or um, farm any of the items that they needed to. Probably mostly in the rainforest area. So the slash and burn, obviously the slash means the chopping down of the trees. So the farmers in the rainforest cleared land using a method called slash and burn. The vines and trees would be slashed and chopped down and anything left would be set fire to clear the land. So obviously that's the burn part. The ash left behind was high in nutrients so it was perfect for growing crops and made the land much more fertile. However, Within a few years, the nutrients would be used up and the farmers would have to move elsewhere to let the forest regrow. So they clear the space by chopping down the trees, burning um, the, the leftover wood or anything to clear the land. This ash creates really good nutrients in the soil, which were perfect for growing crops. Um, the land had become a lot more fertile. They'd grow their crops, but over a, after a few years, these nutrients would all be used up and the farmers would have to move on, chop down another area of rainforest and repeat the process again. And a fourth method that they use, which is still very well known and used today, is called crop rotation. And this is where they planted crops in different places to give time to replace the nutrients in the ground. The Maya knew that they could not plant the same crops in the same fields over and over again. Different plants take different nutrients out of the ground and put different nutrients back into the ground. The Maya probably planted maize one year and then beans or squash the next to replenish, replenish the nutrients in the ground. This method keeps the soil nice and fertile and gives greater yields. So if you try and plant the same crop years for years and years and years, eventually it's going to have used up all the nutrients of the, out of the ground that it needs 
because they put back different nutrients. So eventually the, the nutrients needed to grow will run out. So by then rotating the crops and putting them in a different area of soil would allow them to kind of replenish the nutrients. Um, different nutrients would be, be put back into the ground from the different crop that you are growing in that soil. So here's um, an image to kind of explain that. So imagine if you had four areas, um, your first area you plant beans and peas and things, then you do your root vegetables like your carrots and potatoes, then you've got your tomatoes, cucumbers, pumpkin squash, and then your things like your lettuce and your broccoli and your parsley and, and all that. And after a couple of years, or maybe once a year, you'd move them all round one so that they were getting different nutrients or fresh nutrients and putting fresh nutrients back into the soil. So they were the four solutions that the Maya came up with um, to become successful farmers and how they got around the difficult landscapes that they had in that Mesoamerica area. Okay, So raised fields in the marshland area when it was too wet slash and burn in the rainforest area where there was no room terracing in the mountainous areas where it was too it wasn't flat enough to grow our crops and then crop rotation to ensure that the soil stayed fertile and the crops were able to grow successfully so what i'd like you to do today is as mentioned at the beginning um, create a page fact file slash information page firstly explaining why farming was difficult for the Maya and then um, give an example of the four different te farming techniques used by the Maya. If you're stretching to gold just add a bit more explanation to each of these maybe kind of ex explaining where each of these farming techniques would have been used so the slash and burn would have been in the rainforest area and so on. So I've done a waggle like last week. Uh, this is kind of bronze and silver. Obviously silver is independent, bronze is just having a little bit of help from someone at home. So I've started with a paragraph just explaining why farming was difficult for the Maya. Farming was difficult for the Maya because they had an ever-growing population therefore trying to grow co crops to feed everybody became hard. As well as this, the land in Mesoamerica varied. It was made up of mountainous, porous lowlands, marshy ground and rainforests. This meant that the ground was either too wet or dry, the soil wasn't very fertile, there was no clear space or there was little flat land. This made it a difficult environment to grow crops. Also, Mesoamerica was in a part of the world with a tropical climate where daylight didn't vary much between summer and winter and they would have rather wet summers but very dry winters with no rainfall at all. So it's just describing the different situations that the Maya lived in. Okay, And then I've done a brief explanation with a picture of each. So you can draw these out beautifully. Um, if you'd like to find a picture and print them, um, stick them in your book on your page, that's absolutely fine. So terracing techniques were used to create flat areas of land to farm. Raised fields were built to provide drier areas of land to farm crops and have canals of water nearby. Slash and burn was used to create more space for growing crops and crop rotation was used to keep the soil fertile and replace nutrients. If you're pushing for gold, which I think a lot of you can do, um, just in each of these four areas, just add a bit more detail, like I said, maybe um, the, the area of Mesoamerica that you would find these farming systems, uh, maybe explain a bit more why they use them and how they use them. Okay. Um, so try and complete your A4 page again, just like last week. Beautiful full sentences, detailed, and add some pictures in there so that we get that visual representation as well. Well done, um, Year 5. We're really proud of you. Remember to snap your photos, send them through so we can see how well you're doing. Speak to you soon. Bye.